Hello, and welcome to another Absurd Heroine video. So today, this week, we have something pretty cool. Um, not particularly unique, but I have not played this deck on my channel yet, and it's actually really fun. So I figured, what the heck, why not? Let's play it. And that is Tesa Glass, right? So Tesa Karlov, if you don't know this card, is a 2-4 for 4 human advisor creature legendary creature if a creature dying causes a triggered ability of an a permanent you of a permanent you control to trigger that ability triggers an additional time and creature tokens you control have vigilance and lifelink so this is really trying to capitalize on another ability that came out during the uh ravnica allegiance set and that is afterlife so we have tesa in here with a bunch of afterlife and if you don't know afterlife when a creature dies you create one one white and black spirit creature uh, tokens with flying depending on how many afterlife they have so this one has afterlife too so they create two creatures um so that we have that on a bunch of our creatures along with cruel celebrant which you know can work really really well with tesa and all of these creatures that we were generating and then we have glass of the guild pact and this is the one that you don't really see very often so multi-creature colored creatures you control get plus one plus one we have so many multicolored creatures here the only ones that we don't have that are not multicolored are tithe taker which is just great against control and ministrant of obligation which is too powerful not to put in the deck uh because it has it's like one of the very few creatures that has afterlife too that and seraph of the scales being the only two creatures that have after uh that have afterlife too actually i might mm -hmm. Afterlife 2. No, there are a few more. But they're not, these are not worth it. These are the only two ones, two creatures that have, that are worth playing anywhere other than limited uh, that have Afterlife 2. Um, so the beautiful thing about this deck is that if you have a bunch of these creatures on the board and you have a glass of the guild pack, so they're like two, two huge flying creatures with lifelink and all that jazz and your opponent wants to board wipe anything and you have a cruel celebrant on the board like forget it they're just dead right because tesa and cruel celebrant just like pops off and you have all of these uh triggers for um dealing one life and gaining one life so let's see if we can make the magic happen here today could be better could be worse so i think we're gonna keep it We will put out a Tide Taker on turn two, and we have a Mortify. Guess we don't need to show them black just yet. Uh, no. Uh, yeah. Doesn't really matter. Doesn't really matter in what order we put our our lands out here. Actually, it does now. Now it does. But I think I am gonna put a Tide Taker out first. So let's not show them black just yet. So we have ourselves some Grixis control here, eh? Uh, I guess let's get in. And maybe we'll keep up a Mortify, then we can Cruel Celebrant and Imperious Oligarch next turn, both together. I think that seems fine. Good thing we did that. Sure. Heed my instruction. We are the future. Okay. So I guess we will do that. block that's cool we get a 1-1 one, one, which will be a 2-2 two, two when we get this multicolored glass of the guild packed out we're going to be representing quite a bit of damage here this is five color fires nonsense <laughs> let's hope they don't find another fires my cause. All right. Sure. I look forward to seeing your mistakes. Fully curious. Your defects don't seem to bother you. 
Nobody's perfect. Not Wait. even me. Alrighty. Here we go. has a nice ring do not ruin my uh, my way <laughs> okay <laughs> all right sorry i was quiet there there's not much to say about that one five color fires planeswalkers you got it boss you got it boss yeah this is a great hand we'll tie taker turn two minister of obligation turn three hopefully we draw a uh land before turn four so we can drop a Tesa. We go first. Sounds good. Let's do it. Sounds good. Royal Gracer. Sure. Mono green. The Kai is a good draw. We do need another land though. We do need another land. Hope you're all doing very good today. This recording is on a Monday, but uh, the video usually goes out on Wednesday, so it shouldn't be too far after. Hope you are all doing well. Yeah, so let's do a Ministrant. We did draw a land for our Tesa next turn. Uh, no. There's no reason to attack. He'll block with a Grazer, because I'm sure they want to keep their 1-1. So this is good. We'll get our Tesa out next turn. We'll have a Mortify for the Lovestruck Beast. We have an Oath of Kaya for the Arboreal Grazer. And I think we might want to do that. Do we want to do that out? I don't really want to give them the opportunity to Rabid Bite our Tesa. You know what I mean? Tesa is very important, so I'm just going to wait. We'll mortify, and then we can Tesa next turn. Hopefully they try to rabid bite something. Oh, the Great Henge. I guess we should I always forget about that. Although, yeah, enchantment. Not artifact. Yeah, I always forget about the Great Henge. Oh, okay. That's a reason for getting rid of that beast, um, lovestruck beast. Ooh, great draw. Yes, please. Um, and we'll do Tesa here. And I guess we'll attack. Attack for all of that, because why the heck not? I want to kill the Tide Taker. Sure. Okay with that. So now we get two 1-1 one, one lifelink vigilance tokens with flying. <laughs> it's just Taza just makes these flying creature tokens just so good. So they're gonna need to like empty their board full of just stuff. It's a lot of stuff. I mean, potentially a lot of stuff. Six mana. What's the biggest, scariest, greenest thing? Questing Beast. Questing Beast is fairly scary. But Sarah for the Scales should take care of that. And we have Life Linkers, so. Not the worst thing in the world. Imperious Oligarch. No, I don't think we want the Imperious Oligarch, do we? Meh. We want removal. We kind of want removal for this questing beast. Yes. Give me my pretty life linkers. Actually, 
We can just kill it. So we probably should do that. Okay. Now we have our life-linking army. What we really want is a uh, glass of the guild pack. Guild packed. Okay. That is a big boy. Oh, and another question piece. Yeah, those are big things. But Seraph can get death touch, which is great. There's our glass. That should handle any problems with lifelink, I think, uh, for losing life with aggressive mammoths. Okay. For the moment, anyway. So now we can kill the questing beast. Or maybe we want to kill a mammoth. Because the mammoth represents more damage, really? It's a race. It's a race to the finish. Okay. Give her death touch. So that's a dead aggressive beast. Aggressive damage, rather. And we get a ton more creatures. We get four more flyers. And we get a glass of the guild pack next turn. So that is a lot of dudes. It's a lot. Yes, indeedy. So we just gonna <laughs> We just gonna kill you. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's how it works. Yeah, this is exactly what we want. But what order do we do it in? I mean I think we do it in Imperious Oligarch. Glass of the Guild uh, I mean we gotta see if we draw any lands. Hopefully we draw lands. But I think Imperious Oligarch is first. I, I suppose it might depend on what we see. We've got blue, so maybe it is Tide Taker, actually. Ooh. I think it is Tide Taker. We're gonna wanna go as fast as possible. Be nice if we could find a, a Mortify here, a couple Mortifies to deal with his Drowned Secrets. Planner beacon, really. You trying to unsummon my guy? What are you doing? Oh, another drum sequence. Well, that's unfortunate. There goes our lands. This might be a loss here. They have two drowned secrets in their opening hand. That's a dangerous combination. And if we do not get our Mortify and land, we need lands and we need Mortifies. If we don't get those things real fast, we are dying to the mill, my friends. <laughs> oh man, they just milled a ton of lands. Okay, there's a land. Good. Another land. We'll just leave it on top, though it doesn't matter too much. And we're gonna bring out an oligarch. The oligarch is next. Next turn, glass of the guild pack and cruel celebrant, I guess. Okay. Yep. We don't have any graveyard recursion anyway, so Ashiok doesn't really matter, other than the fact that he just like he's gonna mill us a bunch. Which makes your nightmare. They got a good draw for Mill. Very good draw. Alright, so we're missing a land. So we gotta we gotta hit Ashiok. 
but it really doesn't matter. And I think... I think we gotta just kill it. Kill it before it spawns! Alright. On our set. Beautiful. We have one more mortifier in our deck. I just killed two of them. Meditate and prepare. Okay. They got a really good draw against us. I don't think we can beat them. I don't think we can beat them here. You cannot. All right. See. have to deal there's our lot there's the mortify yeah okay we've, we've lost they got us two drown secrets in the opening hand does wonders it's always nice to lose to mill though i feel like mill is such an un underrepresented child you know it's good to see it it's good to see it it's good to see it win eh, it's not the worst hand i've ever seen i don't think we can send it back but it is a little lackluster. Not a very powerful hand. That's a little better. And that's better too. We don't have the other land. Hopefully we can draw it between now and when we want to cast Seraph or, or Tesa. So let's bring out that. It's tapped. Naya, eh? Okay, there's our other land. Is good. Okay, so this is Gates. Ugh. Uh, so Gates is gonna take out Tesa. But it's not gonna take out all of the procs from our afterlife creatures. So I am going to wait on dropping Tesa until we have a bunch of afterlife creatures out. So just in case they want to fire or do something like that, we still get some value from it. Okay. Um, so do we want a Tesa? I think we're going to Ministrant here. And if they want to do another Storm's Wrath, they can do that. Now we just hope to draw our glass. Field Summit. Okay, we're gonna modify that real quick. Okay. So, goodbye. And we're going to Cruel Celebrant. So now they're gonna be taking a lot of damage if they wipe, board wipe us. Okay. They did, they did the thing. Take two. So they have another archway angel. Giant Colossus. Gatebreaker Ram. Okay. Those are big things. Let's see. So what can we do here? I think 
we're going to take 18 probably. We need a board wipe. We need our own board wipe is what we need. I'm just going to make creatures. Short. Resolve. Bottom. Top. If they get another archway angel, then we're in trouble. Short. Just attacking with that. That's fine. It's a lot of damage, but... We're still coming in for a bunch too. Chase? Okay. We'll make this look easy. That's fine. Always an answer. Okay. Short. Just make more creature tokens. Ministry of Obligation. Attacking in. Just attacking in. <laughs> Seems good. And Gates usually only draws board wipes. Uh, has board wipes, rather. Oh, no. Ugh. Archway angels, man. Okay. Uh, okay. So... I guess we can't attack with anything, huh? Yeah. I guess let's not attack with anything. Okay, that's not our board wipe. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We can deal 14 damage to them. Not quite gonna be good enough right now. Um. Let's see, we need, so they're gonna deal eight, so we have to block uh, five, one, two, three, four, five. We might actually have to sacrifice our Tesa here. Four, five, six, seven. Uh, eight, nine. Done. It's a lot of triggers, boys and girls. It's a lot of triggers. It's not what we really wanted. But, okay. <laughs> And enough, I think that's enough. Yes. Woo, that one was a close one. <laughs> that was a close one. I mean, we got, we, had tw we were eventually at 29. 29-0, but it was close because math is hard. Oh man, this would be a good hand if we had a planes. But it doesn't, so we can't keep it. Ugh. Okay, this is better. I think we're gonna drop the Kaya's. Can't cast it yet. And uh, we have plenty of other really good stuff in here that we would I much prefer to have. Ah, it's so hot in this room with all that 
all the uh, lights, and I just got a nice little breeze from an open window that I have. It's a bit chilly outside here in New England at the moment, but man, with all of these lights, you need it. So, as for nothing, as <laughs> for control, multicolored nonsense. Narset. I think I'm gonna serve of the scales here before Narsetting. Uh, before, like, Othakaiing and Narset or something. They need another white mana source in order to cast that. I think we do risk it though. Risk it for the biscuit. Not gonna let them have this that last Narset draw. They don't have it. Is good. Is nice and good. And we're just gonna have another Seraph out. Can't do it, boy. Cannot do it. Ah, Dune Fort Souls. Okay. That's, I mean, could be far worse for us, you know? Uh, Othakaya. I don't think we want another Othakaya. We want, like, a... Um... What am I talking about? We want a Mortify, is what we want. Why is it glowing? I'm just gonna keep bringing out stuff. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> At this point, I'm going to have more stuff than they do. Okay. That makes me sad. Alright, check in. Tide Taker and Ministrant of Obligation, please. <laughs> Sorry, Boyle. Even now, if they can cast their Elspeth Karns, because that's not that great. I mean, I guess, I guess they get the Minstrant. Okay. There is little as exquisite as the artist. Which one? Okay, you're gonna make a dude. Sure. That one. I'm not even going to bother uh, with that Ashiok. I'm just going right at the source. And we can kill this Ashiok dude. So they are going to have to sacrifice their Ashiok. Or their Doom Force, I guess. If that's what they really want to do. That's fine. Either or, we're still doing sitting pretty here. If we get a class of the guild pact, oof. Haha, <laughs> feels so good! Killing the Doom Foretold deck. Ha! This is like the anti-Doom Foretold deck, kind of. They didn't have anything on the field before they cast it, and they knew we were an afterlife deck, so I don't really know what they were thinking, honestly. Honestly. To be honest with you, Jayan. Ooh, this one's not fun. Very responsive. But not exactly doing what we want with the deck. Uh, I guess we keep it though. I guess we keep it. Let's see how it goes. Okay. This is. <laughs> okay. Let's draw all three of our Kaya's Wraths. That's great. We need a land. We like, we really need a land. As much as I would love to have a Cruel Celebrant, we need lands more than we need Cruel Celebrants at the moment. The good thing is, we're gonna be able to cast Archaia's Wrath no matter what. Um, so long as we get two more lands, 
Gotta get those lands. At this point, we have drawn more Kaya's Wraths than we have drawn lands. Feels bad, man? Sure. Come on, lands. Come on. Give me land. Give me. Give to me the land. Okay. We're gonna mortify something, probably. Because we don't know if we're gonna get a land next turn, so... Johnny's Parade Mate is probably dead. D-E-D. -E -D, dead. Unless, of course, they all side of life's bounty, in which case it is not dead. Okay. Together, we can banish evil from this plane. What are you giving it? Fine, nothing much we can do about that. Your light will cleave the darkness. Yep. Oh god. Just another pitiful mortify. But I think I am going to do it now. Or actually no, cancel. Ugh. If we drop the Ministry of Obligation... Ugh. We could block the Johnny's Primate, but we'd still be taking five. Oh my god. Sure. In a place Not a good hope. deck to be playing against while your man is screwed. I don't want to hurt you. I am proud of those who walk beside Yeah, I know. You didn't use the Gideon, friend. But I suppose that's okay, right? Alright. So now we Oath of Kaya a Johnny. Sure. Okay, not what we want to be drawing. Thank you. <laughs> we take a ton. We take eight. Hope that we Kai is Wrath and then die to Gideon next turn. Wow. What a game to be mana screwed on. Feels bad, man. Three Kai is Wraths. Three Kai is Wraths in our hands. <laughs> <laughs> and not being able to cast it. Ugh. Oh, hey. Look. Look who it is. Showing up one turn too late. <laughs> uh, that's too bad. Oh, well. That's what happens. Alrighty. Uh, yeah. I guess we have a scry land, right? We can cast Imperial, you know, Imperious Oligarch or whatever have you. I think Oligarch's probably the play here, if this is Boros. Might be Jeskai something. We don't want another Tesa. We want another land. We want a land. Come, come now. It's so weird the way that you draw stuff out, right? Oh, it is Jeskai. Okay. So Jeskai fires in casual queue. It's, it's good. Feels good. Probably should have played Tide Taker, but whatever. We can do it next turn. They don't want to counter an Imperious Oligarch. Maybe they want to kill it? No. Okay. Hopefully we draw glass. I would love to draw glass. This is a good hand for glass. Sure. You got it. I won't do nothing. Got all our care. Hope I mean a uh, tight taker. I meant to say. Uh, hopefully, uh, we draw another land, so we can imperious oligarch twice here. That would be ideal. 
I've got time. You do, Teferi. What you doing, boss? Bone crusher? Bone crusher. But they played it. Okay. We unfortunately did not um, draw a land. So I guess we all agar, huh? It's gonna be a rough. It's gonna be a rough battle here. Gotta draw land. Gotta draw that land. It fires. This is just guy fire. If this is just guy fires in casual queue, I'm gonna be a little upset. Although perhaps this isn't a casual queue deck, you know. Okay. Could just kill that. Nah, I'll take four. It's fine. Come on, land. Come on, land. Are they gonna wrath here? No. Okay. We did it. We gotta land. They might wrath. In which case, we will wait. What can they cast for flesh? Well, I mean, they have a fairy, so they can cast anything. Is this gonna be a straight up board wipe? Seems a little strange. If it is, we're going to Imperious Oligarch Cruel Celebrant. Or maybe we'll. Imperious Ol Oligarch, Class of the Guild Pact. Okay. Sure. Okay. I don't know what they're doing. I am very confused. Okay. Maybe they couldn't cast whatever it is that they were planning on casting because of Tide Taker? What were they gonna cast? Quite sure. Super confused. Okay. We do now have a bunch of 2 2 flyers that will have lifelink and vigilance. Ooh. Maybe we're just gonna do that. seems good. <laughs> and if they don't have another board wipe, it would suck if they have another board wipe, because I'd really like Taysa to be on the field. But Taysa next turn. Hopefully they don't kill Cruel Celebrant. The good thing is they can't Bone Crusher Giant, our Cruel Celebrant. They can't Elspeth Conquers Death, our Cruel Celebrant. Solar Braves, okay. All right. So do we taste them now? I guess we taste them now. Oh no, we start from scales now. Fires. Okay. Banishing Light. Alright. Banishing Light Seraph. Alright. You got another one? You got two more? That would suck if they have two more. By the way, fires in casual queue. Jeskai fires in casual queue. Okay. They are in desperation mode here. They are searching for... I don't know. They're searching for another banishing light. Which isn't going to save them because they can only banishing light one thing and they didn't even get anything. So ha. Huh. You have one spell. 
What's it going to be? Board wipe's not going to do it. Single creature removal is not going to do it either. <laughs> you need something that exiles the entire board. You need to um, settle the wreckage. <laughs> ha! Take that. Better than fires. Better than just guy fires. This isn't bad. This is fine. Tide taker turn two. Ministrant turn three. Glass of the Guild Pact for whenever we draw a multicolored creature or one of our creatures dies. So, I think this is fine. Totally doable. We got a scry also, so... Is fine. Alright, land is good. We're gonna start off with Temple of Silence though. Ah, that's good. I like it. Me gusta. Me gusta. Is this another guild gate deck? No. It's just Simic. Simic something. I'm not sure. We shall tad taker you though. Usually they can tell right away. Yes, tide taker. That means I am an afterlife deck. Hello. I'd love to see a Tesa right now. We've got all of our triggers. We've got a bunch of good afterlifes. We got our cruel celebrant. We want a Tesa. We want a Tesa. Ooh, okay. Flame. You ready? Auto attack. Sure. Sure. This is a life gain deck, kind of. Okay. No blocks. Take two. Alright. Um, so Simic Flash of some sort. I guess I want them to counter the Cruel Celebrant before the glass, right? Frilled, frilled lizard. Sinners of sabotage. That's fine. Ooh, negate. Quench. Really? What an asshole. We do have another ministrant though. And I'd rather them waste their counters on that stuff than like a Tesa or Seraph of the Scales or something. Hopefully we draw those threats, right? Got more counters? You really want to counter a Ministrant of Obligation? You do. You're a funny lad. At least we have Castle Lock Thwain. Should be okay. Okay. Do we want to get in for three? No. No blocks. That's fine. That's fine. And we'll castle Lock Thwain after this, I guess? Okay, if they've got like a Hydra, which I'm sure they do, uh, Hydroid Crasis, I should say, then we are gonna want a Kai's Rift. Okay. Sure. So we are not gonna want to deal with that. Can create a um okay. Do we want to take five? Do we want to kill the voracious hydra? I think we're gonna take five. Alright, because I just want a board wipe here. Next. Later. And we're we're also gonna take some more from Castle Left Rain, which sucks, but 
I think we need to do it. Glass of the Guild Pact. That's good. Uh, no attacks. I guess we'll just Kaya's here. Alright. They might have more counters. Which will stink. Oh, they've got more Hydras. Yes? No? Thassus, maybe? I don't know. They are counting their mana, though. By the way, I suggest if you do count your mana, to do it above your land so that the opponent does not know that you are actually counting your mana. <laughs> if you catch my drift. Now we need a Tesa. They got another counter? Okay. Auto pay. We are gonna have to Kai's Wrath, unfortunately. Mm-hmm. But we'll get in some damage first. Ooh, unless we Tesa, of course. So if they don't have another counter. Aha! They do, but it doesn't matter. Take that. Sure. You got it. Yep, no blocks. Take that! You and all your counters can just shuffle off to the next game. Thank you very much. <laughs> Ugh, counters. Alright, well, that's a good place to stop. I think we we did very very well. I mean, perhaps this is just a this might just be a ladder deck. I guess I don't know. Uh, I guess I mean we we won most of our games, so I suppose it is a ladder a ladder game, a ladder deck rather. But it is a super fun deck, to be sure, because you don't see it very often, right? Like not very many people play Afterlife anymore, and it is still a really powerful mechanic that like not very many people play with and when you count, when you put it together with Cruel Celebrant you, and Tesa Karlov like they just don't want to kill things or they just can't kill things or else they'll die and it's very very satisfying and even if they do like wrath or something along those lines then you have backup right you have your 1-1 one, one flyer backups and sometimes that's even better than having creatures on the field because a tie taker is not as good as the afterlife creature that it creates right when there's the glass of the guild pact on the field so anyway super duper fun deck um once again i apologize for some of the background noise they might hear um once again you know we're all indoors it's you know covid 19 season so we're all indoors and we're, we can't go anywhere and my recording you know my family is all here with me so can't really um tell them to go anywhere else so you hear them in the background which is fine you get to know my family a little bit more so yeah, uh, speaking of that, I guess I hope you guys are all doing well. I hope you're all mentally well. I'm sure everybody is feeling the strain and the stress right now, physically, mentally, economically. So, you know, hang in there, everybody. I love you all, and I hope you're doing well. And I'll see you guys all next week. Ciao.